continuing with that uh, mid-tone color and building up the layers of texture of the fur. So exactly where I left off on that first video. Nothing complicated at all about it. Lots of people, you can see I'm just coming back in with that dark brown, just darkening that base a little bit. Lots of people get overly concerned um, starting pastels or colored pencils or painting. And the main obstacle is to just start and then not to leave too many days or certainly not many weeks um, between finishing a project and starting a new one, especially with a new medium, because you get that, you know, that bit of anxiety back then of, oh, I, I forgot what to do and and uh, all that unsurety of it. And I get that myself. Sometimes I've got to do oils um, and then other business matters may come into play and I could go, you know, Sometimes I've gone a couple of months without painting or drawing, but lately with my Patreon channel, obviously I've got to do a lot more work. But I could do, you know, two weeks perhaps without doing another pastel. And then I get a little bit of a niggling thing where I'm not that sure. So if you're a beginner or a novice, try to do as much as you can. Draw and paint as much as you can. And you get on a bit of a roll with it then. Much easier to keep that going rather than to keep starting again over over and over. So you can see same process, little marks in that third direction, pulling the pencil towards me. Just going to continue that process. So if I've got obviously if there's small fur strokes that I see in the reference, I use short strokes when I'm using the pencil. Sounds obvious, but lots of beginners use the same length stroke all the time. So you can see there again how easily the pastel goes over that dark. And it's not the exact colour as I said. I'm going to build layers upon this. So I will go lighter and lighter. Okay, so now I'm going to make a start on this side and that's pencil number 685. As I say, I'm going to call the pencil numbers out and try to use each individual one for a little bit rather than my usual process where I'd be swapping over a lot. So I'm getting a good bit of work out of each pencil. Just if you're going to follow along and you need that bit of extra assurance, but when I'm really going for it then I'm going to start to use lots of pencils and I won't be calling them out all the time deliberately. You don't want the crutch of following somebody's pencil numbers all the time. That's certainly not the way to be uh, working. You can see how that's just a slight bit different colour, slight bit lighter on top. Shows up quite well when you want a more um, vibrant mark just push that bit harder on my tutorial website that's jasonmorgan.co.uk I've got lots of full-length videos some up to eight or nine hours long I've got ebooks on there as well if you're looking for reference photos because sometimes it's really hard to get very good decent copyright free reference photos you can paint and draw from my website www.wildlifeart hyphenonline.com has got about 900 or more photographs on there. Or perhaps you'd like to join my art community where every month I put up new videos, new reference photos, new wildlife line art. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. Love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my YouTube channel.